doors. I froze, toothbrush halfway to my mouth. Three doors? I blinked, rubbed my eyes, and turned around. Just two doors, like it always had been. One to my bedroom, and one to the office. I laughed it off as a trick of the light or my tired eyes playing games. But the next morning, I saw it again three doors, perfectly clear in the mirror's reflection. Now, I was intrigued. I walked into the hallway inspecting the walls where the mysterious third door should have been. Nothing, just a solid wall. I tapped the wall, pressed against it, no secret door, no hidden seams. Over the next few days, the third door kept appearing in the mirror every time I looked. And every time, I would turn around and it would be gone. I started feeling uneasy, the kind of unease that tightens your chest and makes your hands clammy. I knew the apartment was old, but this felt wrong. Last night, I decided to take a picture with my phone. I snapped a photo of the hallway through the mirror and turned around immediately, inspecting the screen. Three doors, clear as day. But when I turned around, the hallway was the same as always, just two. Determined to get to the bottom of it, I waited until midnight. I figured if there was any time to figure out what was happening, it was the witching hour. I stood in front of the bathroom mirror, my phone in hand, and stared at the third door's reflection. As the clock struck twelve, I felt a chill run down my spine. The door in the mirror started to open. My heart pounded as I watched it creak open, slowly, revealing nothing but darkness inside. A cold draft swept through the hallway, though I felt no breeze where I stood. I reached out, almost instinctively, and touched the mirror's surface. It was ice cold. Then, I heard it a soft whisper, like someone speaking right next to my ear. Come in. I stumbled back, dropping my phone. The screen cracked as it hit the tile, and I felt a wave of fear wash over me. I didn't want to look at the mirror again, but I couldn't help it. The door in the reflection was now wide open, and a shadowy figure stood in the doorway. Its eyes glowed faintly, and its hand reached out, beckoning. I bolted, locking myself in my bedroom until morning. When I finally worked up the courage to look at the mirror again, it showed only two doors. My cracked phone lay on the bathroom floor, the picture I'd taken still open. In it, the door was wide open, and the shadow was standing just inches behind me. I've been staying at a friend's place ever since. I'm too scared to go back. But sometimes, when I'm alone, I still feel that cold draft. And sometimes, late at night, I swear I hear the soft creak of a door opening behind me.